Hey guys, what is going on? It is Taboki here once again, and it's January 1st, 2013, and I wanted to go ahead and make a New Year's resolution video. A lot of you guys have been requesting me to do so, so I guess I'll go ahead and try it out. Um, I did one last year, I believe, before the 2012 hit, and I think it's kind of the same thing. You know, a lot of people, when they make New Year's resolutions, it's more about their physical appearance, right? They want to fix their weight, they want to eat healthier, maybe work out more, and just, you know, make sure they take care of themselves better this year. I think it is very important that people make resolutions, you know, it is very awesome. You know, in the beginning of the year, of course, everyone's pumped up, the fire is burning hot, you know, they're getting memberships at gyms, they're eating 20 celeries a day with a carrot on the side, and you know, it's, it's going good at first, but the fire does die down. Now, I feel like there's two different types of resolutions you can make, you know, there's one for yourself your physical appearance, you know, I guess, to say, your physical health. But then there's one for your personal health, your personality, who you are. You know, I think, uh, you guys know this, I think it's super important to build character. I think it's super important to build personality, who you are, find out who you are, really shape yourself to become better. I mean, you can be this plate of steel, right? You can bench press three cars, save cats from trees, you're this really awesome, be a buff person or lean thin lady girl and you know but really who are you inside though you know what I mean like if you're just like that on the outside but you got nothing inside I don't think that's really worth it at least personally for me so I guess I'll tell you a couple of my resolutions this year you know of course first of all I do want to work out more I do want to become more active uh, eat a little bit healthier stop eating those McDonald's Big Macs all the time <laughs> and for my other resolution I could say I guess is that I want to actually think more before I act and I think this goes for a lot of people you know we, we do things sometimes a little bit too quickly and we don't think about it. We don't think about the consequence that will happen afterwards, you know? And it's, it's, we're not supposed to be sitting there, you know, like what I was saying, in the line of a Best Buy store, trying to choose between gummy bears and gummy worms. I'm not saying don't think like that, like, too deeply. I'm saying, like, thinking about just before you say something to someone. You know, kind of think about how that will affect them a little bit before you say it. Will it hurt them, you know? Why are you going to go ahead and say this? Too quick to judge people. Too quick to come to conclusions. You know, these are all things that people, I guess, struggle with. And especially me. Now, I think there's a very important line between thinking too much, overthinking, and then thinking too less, you know. And then that is kind of where we have to find the balance. So my resolutions, I guess, is for this 2013 years, hopefully that I will maintain and keep going, is becoming more active. Um, whether that be joining clubs at school or doing some sort of thing, you know, outside a little bit more activities wise, getting myself into a more active because I think I'll feel a little bit better. And then, of course, thinking before I act. Now, after we make these resolutions, of course, you know, we have to think of a way that we can help ourselves to keep these resolutions, you know, stay true to them and keep loyal to them. Because, of course, like I said in the beginning, you know, first day of January, people are going to get memberships at gyms, or at least the January 2nd, at least, because January 1st, everything is closed. But, I mean, people are pumped, you know, that they're just pumped to get started. But when they're getting so pumped up in the beginning, I feel like when they're going so fast in the beginning, you know, of course, like I said, the fire wears out, it burns out, and they'll die out really quick. I think the trick for resolutions, the trick for doing something for yourself is to steady pace it. Get into a routine, repetition, practice. It's all these things that, you know, it helps you kind of lock in, and it's a life-changing thing and not just a month-changing thing. Have I ever kept a resolution before? No, never. You know, it's it's impossible. I, I said so many years, I think the past like 20 years, when I was one years old, after I hit my second birthday, I was like, oh, I'm gonna work out every day. That did not happen, you know. I, I fall out of it like almost everyone does. Will I succeed this year in keeping my resolution? I don't know. I hope so, but you know, I hope I can do a little bit better for myself than I was last year. So guys, what are some of your guys' New Year's resolutions? And how do you plan on maintaining them and keeping them? You know, it's always good to hear some tricks, tips, uh, for, especially from you guys. I always enjoy your feedback. And guys, like always, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your year of 2013, and brand new year. And it's an honor and pleasure to be making videos for you guys for this year 2013. Like always, this has been Bogey. We'll be seeing you guys later.